Hi my friends, let's model the part number 99 centrifugal pump body from my collection of 100 parts. The picture of this uh, object is here and uh, you can see more or less that this is a spiral feature. This one and not a circular one. This will uh, make more uh, difficult the modeling of this uh, uh, part. The drawing shows more than this. As you can see, here is a special note. As a spiral profile with the pitch 28. And uh, If we uh, look careful here with 45 degrees, 45 is one eighth of a circle, yes? And uh, this is the first eighth of the circle where the radius is uh, 13, 38. Then as you can see, radius is 15.5, where here at the second eighth of uh, this spiral, and in the bottom is radius 24. We'll take care about this when we uh, reach the moment yes now let's start with the sketch where to place this diameter a circle at 45 degrees uh, applied on a plane at 45 degrees that circle This is the drawing. We have all the data here. Let's start with the plane and the circle. This is the system and uh, uh, this is the plane, this plane. So uh, we have to consider this plane and this axis, yes? We start uh, by creating a plane with this uh, reference and this axis. What is the angle? The angle is uh, 135. In this plane we create a sketch. The sketch is a circle with a diameter of 26.75. The distance from the center is uh, 123.5, as you can see. And uh, we apply a vertical to finish. I want this to be outer size. We create a spiral by using this tool, coil. Uh, and uh, if we apply pitch and revolution as a method, 
with some data here by selecting the axis which is Z we obtain uh, a spring yes and uh, by using this uh, profile the string is uh, as you can see here yes but not this is what we want now we want something else control Z we want to select a spiral and we place our data the pitch is 28 and the rotation is 7 eighths of a full circle we select the axis okay what is this this is a spiral with a step a pitch of uh, 28 and it uh, missing uh, an eighth of the circle of the full circle I have created a table for you this is the table where you can see the values of uh, uh, distances and diameters for certain octants yes this is the first octant this is the second the fourth the sixth and all of them you can easily see uh, the relationship between uh, the number of octants and the values in the table these two are the values we uh, already used and uh, will continue to use the others uh, come back to this table when you uh, see that new uh, values okay we create a new sketch on this face on this face the sketch number one and then other sketches in some planes one is this the next no the next one is this one we use uh, that octants you saw F7 we create a new circle with the diameter of uh, 31 the next in the table placed on the same vertical or horizontal this is horizontal as you can see the vertical with uh, this and with the distance from the table also from the table which is 127 finish sketch next is this plane F7 for us another circle with a diameter of uh, 39.5 on the same horizontal now is horizontal at the distance from the table of uh, 134 you see they are concentric with uh, this but I cannot use 
Now, any uh, um, sketch, I use planes only. Again, in this nasty plane, F7, a circle with a diameter of uh, 48 and uh, vertical this is vertical yes uh, respected at a distance of uh, One hundred and forty one. The last is created in this plane. I use the plane, but with this construction with a diameter from the table of uh, six fifty six point five finish sketch having this five sections one two three four five we apply loft selecting them in order yes from the uh, browser this is the first second third fourth fifth by using a rail yes center line taken from the coil this is very important having all uh, selected the result is this one yes with join you see a very interesting object which will be the hollow in the pump body we have a small feature to be added here. This is an arc with this center point, an end, another end, and a line which will be a center line. We apply revolve to obtain a spherical end of this uh, volume. Now let's take a look here. You see this is uh, what we created and now we have to fill the interior of this volume. The width is 24 and the radius is 123.5 this is the radius of a new extruded feature we use this plane to create a circle with the radius 123.5 and we extrude it on 24 symmetrical 24 symmetrical okay now i'll move this this is uh, the core of the pump body and uh, i want to move it uh, on Z, this is Z at 200, but the other direction to use uh, the normal system for the next construction and zero on uh, X. Okay, now we'll create another volume to do this we take a look to the drawing as you can see there is a, 
circle here with the radius 37 and also up even if in the inside uh, diameters are different this is the same 37 and the, the distances because we want to obtain spiral contour here we create a section with different distances from the center let's do it not many words many facts in this plane X is this. I create a circle with a radius of 37. The distance to the center is 148. drawing a line from a quadrant and we close to the other quadrant we trim half of the circle we place a distance here of 30 conventional dimension because we'll uh, uh, fill this volume. Horizontal is uh, this point. Now it is. Finished sketch. The next one is in the vertical plane with other distance but the same radius and the same distance from the center. The plane is uh, this one now I draw a new U because we know how to do this very rapidly with the horizontal or vertical vertical with this point radius is uh, this one this one I copy okay and the distance is also 30 I copy it here the distance is the next one in the table this is the table the next one is 141 one four one finish sketch we have no much time so I speed up uh, this uh, repeating sequence in uh, uh, the other three octants you can make for yourself every step and uh, copying uh, the values from a sketch to another we have them here yes 148 41 34 the last is uh, the first the next plane is this plane but let me finish the sketch this plane for a last sketch
finish sketch. Now we apply again the tool loft and select in order sketches. We use the rail or center line taken from here. Yes, because this is a coil. I want to create a new solid. Yes, you know this. Let's apply an another color to the first object to be sure that we know all the time that that is another object red yes we continue with uh, creating the volume inside this which is uh, diameter of 80 height of 250 50 and the bottom circle is taken from the existing uh, volume. Note that this is attached to the first volume. Yes, the core, the red one. We start by creating a sketch on this face only to obtain uh, the contour and the point then we create a plane based on x y and which contains this point this is the place for a new sketch f7 we project the circle to have this end project this contour and now there is a point here uh, the end of this line this was not present before okay now let's draw what I said starting from this point and not this midpoint which is midpoint uh, uh, to here so be careful with this up left and down to that end and then closing here this line is a uh, center line the height is 250 and this diameter is 80 finish sketch revolve And now you see this is selected yes the new volume will be attached to this by join one solid and the solid is this one the axis is selected okay now that sketch is not necessary and the plane is not necessary to be uh, visible but they are in the browser okay we continue by creating this external volume uh, attached to the previous construction the white we select uh, the plane for creating that new volume we project here the top line from there and then we make this solid not visible yes we have what we need here now the construction is simple we start from this midpoint 
to the bottom on this point then to the left we need to project this face to have an end here And then we continue with uh, F7. We continue by creating a, a line to this point. I project again. Now it is. It was not present this now a line from here and looking from the left we have some dimensions important dimensions here uh, a diameter of 230 150 335 then 138 48 to the next diameter of 103 let's draw this contour i make this as a construction line and now small line down another one here and here good Ex extend this line it was missed and now I make this center line <coughs> and I place dimensions this is 150 the difference here is uh, 3 this all is 35 this is uh, 48 and the other diameters are 230 100 you see there is a problem here with some uh, fix this diameter is 138 let's place this diameter 138 but this cannot be moved we'll see why I delete this and I look what happens this is placed on this vertical yes look this vertical was taken so I I click on this and I eliminate this connection you see green up yes this is with green up delete and now I have the f freedom to move this anywhere you I want and I want to place here somewhere a diameter of 103 103 
and this distance again of 48. If you keep the key control pressed, you don't have any connection with any line, but you miss uh, horizontality, perpendicularity, and so on. You choose what uh, actions to do. Fully constrained, finished sketch. I make the, the other volume visible. Yes, because I want to see what happens. Revolve, and you see, this is connecting with this. Connected with this. We don't want this. We deny this solid, and we select the other one. Yes, the color is also as associated with the new volume. Okay. Now I want to fill these gaps, this uh, space and the cylinder inside which has the diameter of 30, you know this. To do this I select this to uh, obtain a sketch and then I apply revolve to that profile about the Z axis. to this face yes this is a spiral and this is not a spiral but it will be filled up with other elements other features okay now I create a cylinder with the dimensions taken from the object you see This is radius 37, so it has uh, uh, the, this dimension of uh, double of 37, and the diameter is 30. We know this. The plane is uh, this one, F7, and we create a line from the center point of 65 up and angle to any point on this vertical and close. This angle is uh, 3. Yes, and this diameter is 360 uh, and 10, but I have to make this center line, 310, finish sketch, revolve, connect it with this volume, Okay, F6. I have to create a new uh, volume to be associated with uh, the second volume, this one, not the, the core, which uh, happens to be in the, uh, the both places. So I uh, prefer to make it now. Dimensions are here, look to them, 25, 3 millimeters, 480, 420, and the line is, this center is up, not down, yes? Okay, we select this plane 
for creating the sketch. The width is uh, 120 for this this plate symmetrical. Oh, but I didn't start from here. I change uh, the reference by applying redefine to this plane. Extrude symmetrical this at one hundred and twenty twenty. Okay, now you see a small difference between this, which is presented here. Let's apply radius five to not forget to all corners round 5 to all corners do not forget now I can place inside that core volume with 200 and combine with the second one move body which body? This one on uh, X, not on Z. Two hundred, but zero for X. Okay. Now we apply combine. This is the base body, and this is the tool body with subtract. Okay, next is uh, this revolution feature which is dimensioned here. All dimensions are here so you can uh, look at this. The plane is uh, this one unfortunately. F7 and we create the profile we start from the center to the right and then a contour as in the drawing of course And now I can apply revolve. Finish sketch, revolve, OK. We continue by creating the inside volume, and you see what is the profile line, gap, gap. 0 0.5 at 45 up round 3 and then outside and this 
we have to create this profile using these dimensions. Let's do it. The plane is this one. And uh, we create the sketch outside. Is uh, more clear. 265 is the first line, which is the center line. And then I'll place a dimension here to have white lines. Yes, this must be on the center point and now it is uh, white. At the final I'll change, I erase this. Okay, let's start. Now I uh, delete this dimension and I move slowly the sketch on horizontal to be somewhere near the final position. And then I make coincident this with the line. And this is the result. Yes. Finish sketch, revolve, OK. What are the uh, chamfered? One, two, and this one with the radius three. Let's apply them. Chamfer, 0 0.5. It is already selected. One, two, three. Okay. And then this is with the radius three. Three. Okay. F6. Next are some uh, other features one of them is this one which is uh, this boss and another one is here let's start with this one which is diameter 34 placed at 72 and gas one half of an inch pipe thread okay We create a plane at 72. Parallel with this one. Up. 72. And then. A circle. F7. A circle around here with a diameter of uh, 34. The placement is at 95 from here. 95 and of course on the same vertical with this. Now is white. Finish sketch, extrude to the part. 
S. Okay. F6. Visibility. Hole. Gas. One half. It is already selected. If not, you find it by tapping and looking to the value. This is what is the face this is the face this is the circle and two to the inside face okay f6 let's create the other one the other one is this one which is placed at 166 and at a distance now distance on the vertical of the center point because the center point is here my friends we must know all the time where is the center point 34 cos one half the same good a plane parallel with this up to 166 sketch right here is the circle of 34 34 like before and now extrude to the part hole this face this center and two is a spiral face this one yes okay visibility F6 now let's place this uh, ribs there are two same angle starting from the end this is symmetrical so we can uh, create one and then we apply mirror let's start with this because it's shorter we don't draw all the line we draw till here from here to here uh, to be uh, not selected this face where to finish automatically the rib uh, watch me the plane is x y and the final f7 I project this point now I project this line to have uh, both line and point to have uh, a line for applying the angle you see I can stop it here or here and then the uh, uh, rib will be finished here we don't want I place here the distance of uh, 40 tab and 30 degrees yes that's all it has a length finish sketch uh, rib let's look from the position this is the profile this is the option and we select this the thickness of this uh, rib is 16 you'll find it in the drawing 
and now we apply mirror for this last feature about this plane and we'll find it here look here okay <laughs> yes that uh, line is enough for both okay other features are uh, these two bosses yes they are placed somewhere under uh, the flange and uh, symmetrical 128 34 gas one half inch let's create them at the height of 70 yes we create a plane taking this as a base and place at 128 divided by 2 sketch F7 circle 34 I project this face and now I apply vertical here and dimension 70 finish sketch extrude to the part okay now the hole which has the same data on this face this center and to this internal face okay and mirror now mirror of the last two features one two which are this about the plane XY and they will be here okay F6 last are many holes you see this with this uh, description and this position other holes are this one which are countersunk and this one or this one this are this and uh, the other are this one you see countersunk on the other face countersunk is inside to the part to place nuts there let's start with this one first definition is here okay this face we place points on no any line projected line same vertical uh, we have to draw a line between them F7 to apply the same horizontal of the midpoint with the center point and then we place 80 
is the dimension between holes and uh, the distance is from the center. The distance is to the center point 30 370 divided by no 420 divided by 2 and now I see that I have a mistake here finish sketch I change this this is not uh, 420 it is 370 let me see where is this extrusion no this is not this is the extrusion and I change the dimension in the sketch 370 mea culpa and now two holes of 20 simple holes through with a diameter of 20 ok mirror of these two holes about this plane and they are also here F6 good now the other holes this face uh, point same vertical with the center point and the distance of 20, 270 divided by 2 finish sketch hole threaded metric 20 not 20 16 and with dimensions uh, 16 uh, full is 20 tab This is 16, uh, yes, 16, and this is the hole, yes, there are 12, so I apply circular pattern for this feature, about this any axis, 12, okay. Next is uh, this, but uh, as you can see here, the uh, countersunk are from uh, down up. And another thing is that the first hole is at half of 45 degrees. Okay, we create here a point F7 
the last last one is this with the counter ball on this face as well and also 22 f7 22.5 degrees That's all my friends. Let's apply a material which is uh, still cast. General aspect still cast and some faces to be polished. I'm sure that this must be polished. Here must be a ball bearing. Because uh, it is a pump. Yes. An important pump, I suppose. This, I think, is not. And also this face is... What else? Oh! The support. This and the other. To be polished. I think that is over 20 kilograms this object let's see 65 kilograms close uh, thanks for watching bye bye